She's not Let's feeling the bar. It's too not big. <laughs> I can tell by the number of rolls. It's one of them, like, I guess you have barely got one roll. The um, raining would have been T Rex ones. The T Rex bars. Met Rex. Three, yeah. So. That's too big. <laughs> Okay, we're crossing a beaver dam soon. Um, as you can see, it's really marshy over here. And up ahead, those guys are trying not to fall in. <laughs> so. Oh boy. <laughs> I do not have that kind of balance. You got this. Use your trekking poles. Try to follow exactly where I'm going. We made it! Yeah, we got across <laughs> with not wet shoes. Oh, yeah, dry feet. We're still dry. It's so far. Well, if, if it's sunny, this is pretty because all it. We're getting trail too magic. Way too far in advance. Just this afternoon. Chicken in the back of my car. So, <laughs> is oh, it, vlog section. Is vlog it hot? Hobbly, hot. What's it mean? Hobbly girl? Hobbly girl. Hobbly girl. And Twizzler. Mm -hmm. They we got trail magic here. I'm getting banana bread. No sense. But, anyways, Lenny hasn't had a name, and there were a couple I kept saying. Okay, so we saw Hobbly Girl and Twizzler um, while we were hiking down to a road crossing and they were there. And they had trail magic, they had banana bread, Gatorade, apples, oranges. So we got some trail magic and we have 12 miles left for the day to get to 501 Shelter. And they were like, oh, do you guys want to be slack packed 11 miles? And we're like, yeah, um, because we have one kind of big climb coming up and then just little ups and downs the rest of the way but that's basically the rest of our day slack packed we only have to have our packs on for like one mile so we're super excited and that's gonna make today a lot easier having a little backpack on so super excited thank god snack break <laughs> we just climbed up a big climb but we have little packs so it's okay but i'm sweaty banana bread all right so we are about 10 miles into the day maybe a little over 10 miles and we have um like eight more to go so we had two we had a beaver crossing in the beginning of the day i guess these beavers built like a dam and it like flooded um a big area of the trail and there was a route to go around it like a dry route but it was like an extra 1.6 miles, so pretty much everybody I know that stayed at the shelter last night went through the dam and walked down logs to keep our feet dry, kind of. But that was pretty cool. And then we had two kind of big climbs for the day, and now we're on top of a ridge. And we're just walking little ups and downs, but I would say the whole day for elevation was like 2,800 feet. So now we're kind of just chilling on top of the ridge walking um and we're going to 501 shelter which is right near a pizza place in town so we're gonna get pizza delivered to the shelter and then tomorrow um alicia her youtube is alicia in the mountains she's supposed to be picking us up and we're gonna go to her place and be able to like shower and do laundry she's gonna take us to resupply she has dogs I'm so excited to meet her. I'm so grateful that she's um, doing this for us. It's really helpful because we're in a weird stretch of Pennsylvania. Not really any places to stay for like a week. Rocks. 
I knew they were going to start soon. I'm literally point four from the shelter and I'm just shot like I do not I'm like over hiking I've pushed myself too hard the last two weeks this is my third 18 mile day I've done a 15 um most of my days have been 12s there was very few days I had that were under 10 I've not taken a day off or a zero day which for any family watching this means you hike zero miles, I'm like over it. So it's kind of a rough spot I'm in because I don't even want to do the nine tomorrow. My feet hurt, my joints hurt. I'm tired, like fatigued. Um, you know, just sleeping for the night and then cranking out more miles doesn't heal you. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's rough. I told myself I wanted to finish Pennsylvania, but I'm almost 200 miles into this section hike and I'm like over it. Not that, I'm like over halfway through PA now, a little over halfway. All right, I made it here. I ordered pizza, I got my tent set up. Um, so hopefully it's a good night. I'm still like, ugh. It's just one of those nights. Like, I don't want to hike tomorrow. I don't want to hike for the next few days. I don't want to keep going through PA. So, um, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go. I might call it three quarters of the way through Pennsylvania. Who knows? Got the pizza that I hiked 18 freaking miles for. <laughs> Better be good. Oh, I am very committed to finishing Pennsylvania. Um, so it was just hard. I think, you know, today was only two weeks out on this section, and it's like, you can't come out on a section hike and just nonstop crush big days, big miles, back to back to back long days on hard terrain. Um, hard, it's hard on your feet, and take no zero days and not get burnt out from. And especially when there's nothing to look at. I mean, Pennsylvania is a rough state to be doing this many miles on with no zeros because there's nothing to look at and it's super rocky and it hurts your feet and it's just, there's nothing that motivates you really in this state. So yeah, but um, not a great end to the day, but it's raining right now and I'm in my tent dry for the night. So that's good.